Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial on the Nice Tower channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to model a modern reception desk. Before I start, like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. So let's jump in. So first, use rectangle tool and draw rectangle right here by 900 centimeter comma 300 like this so now use line tool and draw a line from here up to here like this now let this surface keep here and use push pull tool and extrude by 15 centimeter like this now select all and make it group like this then let me move it here again use rectangle tool draw a rectangle here like this select all and make it group 2 Again, use line tool, draw a line here, my 300 centimeter here, and here too, 300 centimeter, 100 here, and 200 here, like this. And then use arc tool and fill out the corners let me change the number of segments by 50 like this fill out the corners right here like this and also here too and here too let me choose here like this and now select all the lines right click use weld edges plugin to weld them so now let me change something here Use tape measure and draw a guideline here by 170 like this. Now use arc tool, draw an arc right here like this and once here. Now let me raise the guideline and use push pull tool extrude it by five centimeter select this surface use ctrl c take a copy and now we need 1001 bit tools plugin to create some vertical decorative lowers here so 1001 bit tools plugin with this option click on it Let me change the depth by three, thickness by three, a spacing five, angle zero, and choose front, and just click on create lowers, like this. Now that's okay, that's good. So, as you can see, we don't have any surface back off the lowers. So, go to Edit menu, click on Paste in Place. We took a copy of this surface for that. So, now select All, make it Group, 
and let me put a material and this lowers like this so now use flip tool and mirror it like this and use line tool draw a line up to here like this let me move it here to see better the line so now use shape bender plugin and first select the wall before that let me do one thing here before install let me use bevel plugin and fill it the corners here here and also here too like this now it's better so select the wall then use shape bender plugin click on it select the straight line then our curve click here maybe it takes a few moments we should wait for it now as you can see we have a preview of that and just press enter like this We have some problems here don't worry we can fix it go to default tray find soften age and check soften option like this so and now let me take an offset line up to here like this and use line tool and draw line up to here like this now let me hide this shape and use line tool draw line here by 40 centimeter and also up to here like this now we have a surface here like this take an offset before that let me take a copy by ctrl c right then use offset tool and take an offset by five centimeter right Use line tool, draw line here and also here too. And erase this line because we don't need it anymore. Right? And extrude it by 70 centimeter like this. Select all, make it group now use paste in place and move it up here let me delete this line because we don't need it anymore extrude it by three centimeter select all make it group two select both of them and make them a single group like this and also we don't need 
this curve to like this select all again we'll use weld edges plugin join them together like this so let me unhide the wall right like this and also let me move this plate here and also we can make them a single group with solid tools and union option click on it now as you can see we made them a single group and now just create this curved wall so let's do it use rectangle tool draw a rectangle here by four centimeter comma four and extrude by 350 centimeter like this select all make it group right and move it here like this now and also let me put it in material like this and it's time to use copy along curve plugin go to extension menu find copy along curve plugin click on it first we should uh, select our object click here then just select the curve like this so as you can see spacing between them is too much let me change them by 10 centimeter by 7 I think that's okay by 7 centimeter that's okay just click here as you can see it's done and also we need to create a wall back of the lowers so how we can do it let me select all and make them a single group and hide them right and use offset tools again take an offset from this curve by four centimeter delete this one right now just use jhs powerbar plugin jhs powerbar plugin with this option line extruder extrude this line by 350 like this and then use Fredo joint push pull and let me extrude it by eight centimeter so now select all make it group and let me unhide the lowers and put the material and ground here like this so now just use some object computer and a chair right here like this 
And let me put them here. So as you can see, that's good. So guys, as you can see, our work is done. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.